Hey, I'm Barney, a graphic designer and content creator for Intex Studio. I would like to share my setup with you because I think it might inspire some of you for a more ergonomic and enjoyable workflow. I would start with the ergonomics because that's very important for me. I'm always using a pen tablet while editing my photos and also using a laptop keyboard for the shortcuts. This made me unsymmetrical and started to hurt my back. Grid modules solve this issue since if I'm using them for my shortcuts and faders, I can remain symmetrical, my shoulders and spine can remain straight watching the screen. After the ergonomic concerns, the most important factors for me are user experience and efficiency. For user experience, it's amazing, I think, because it's much more enjoyable to click real buttons and slide real faders instead of clicking and dragging on a computer screen. Regarding efficiency, I think it's about the same speed as editing in Lightroom without grid controllers, since the connection can be a bit sluggish sometimes. For example, if I use my faders very quickly, you can see the computer needs time to uh, catch up. But uh, if I'm not too quick with them, it is fine. And again, it's much more enjoyable doing this. I prefer this 100% over doing this on simply a computer. But wait, how can you control Lightroom with a MIDI controller, you could ask? And it is a very legitimate question. I'm using a brilliant open source plugin called MIDI to Lightroom. It is developed by a genius GitHub user under this name. I won't try to pronounce it because I just don't want to butcher it, but yeah. Thank you, thank you for this plugin. I am forever grateful. Basically what it does is that it converts MIDI messages into code that Lightroom can consume. And with that, you can map all your control elements to a custom Lightroom function of your choice. It's amazing, really. So my setup is the following. This BU is controlling a lot of things. For example, I can go to previous and next picture here. I can create a virtual copy with this one. I can start an export with this one, but I don't want to do it. It's too early for that. I can rotate the picture clockwise with this one. I can edit in Photoshop with this button. It might be a bit slow because of my Photoshop. I can use the library view with this. I can use the develop. Uh, page. I can crop and if I crop I can reset the crop. I can flag and unflag pictures. I can copy the settings and I can paste the settings. I can undo and redo and with the EF44 module I can control the develop part. As you can see here I am controlling the temperature and I can reset the temperature. I can control the tint and I can reset the tint and I can do the same with all the parameters I can control under the develop tab. You could argue that I have only four faders and the develop tab consists of much more parameters but that's where the utility button comes in. I just have to press it and change page with that and now this fader controls the highlights, this one controls the shadows, and again, if I'm going further down the road, with this I am controlling dehaze, and I can reset dehaze, also vibrance, you see, it's a bit sluggish sometimes, and also it's hardly visible because this is almost a monochrome image, but yeah, you get the vibe, uh, that's it. Well. I hope I could spark some ideas in your head about your own workflow. And lastly, I would say support open source tech like MIDI to Lightroom because they are making our world a greater place. See you next time.